Stan to MechWars, and welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech, as we continue to do the campaigns of Starburst Sardaukar, and last time, well, um, we tried out a new pilot, he hasn't been working out great, but you know what, we're gonna give the man a second chance, because you know what, we're all about second chances here. We're actually doing pretty good, we've got our flea mostly set up. It doesn't have any weapons on it, doesn't have any equipment on it, but it has a fusion cord and enough heat sinks to operate, so if you wanted to walk it out of the mech bay, you could. But in any event, we're dropping down into the middle of a battle right here. We're picking up our raiding party. We've detected an inbound dropship belonging to the planetary government. Our local defense forces in the expected area, drop area are ill-equipped to handle a lance of mechs, but with your aid, we can ensure that the raid does minimal damage. We'd like you to intercept the local government lance and destroy it. So uh, let's go handle that with uh, hopefully not too much pain. Although we are going to be in a very interesting and tight little battle here, it appears. And we're already in range of two unknown mech types. Uh, do we have enough information to judge anything about them? Unknown mech, unknown mech, no scanners. We can't afford to sit here. As you can see, we have no bracing, no defensive capability at all right now. We are sitting ducks. So uh, just real quick interruptions. Once again, Synapse is running the show in the rapier. Varangian backing him up in Javelin. By the way, Varangian is like 200 XP away from getting another level of gunnery, which would be awesome. Uh, Punisher has moved into the Phoenix Hawk since Ek has kind of demonstrated that he does not like the Phoenix Hawk. So we've put him in the Vindicator and maybe he'll do a little bit better this time. So, let's kick things off. And I'm going to move Synapse first, see if we can't get eyes on anything really. If I sprinted, could I? Oh, I could. It just would be horrifically dangerous. So I'm going to do this, give ourselves three evasion right. plus our additional for having the electronic warfare and the stealth armor. And look at that. We are detecting at this time three unknown targets. Synapse does not have a high enough level of, uh, doesn't have a high enough level of whatchamacallits. Uh, tactics, that's it. To actually figure out what he is. Uh, I'd like to, f why couldn't I see you with rapier? Put me in cover, a eh, little bit of rough terrain here. But it should be alright. Rangan's an okay pilot, right? Rangan, what's your piloting? Piloting five, yeah, he's, he's fine. So we've got an X5 Cicada. So an X5 Cicada, X5, equipped with uh, four medium lasers and a whole bunch of SRM-2s. Now these medium pirate lasers have an increase in accuracy, so that's going to suck a bit, but they're also still, so fire! See how you handle this. Oh, it's a beautiful shot. Slammed into the arm. He managed to follow up with a whole bunch of machine gun rounds. Let's see what he manages to come up with as their follow-up. Oh, the cicada's not moving at all. We have a gauntlet. Oh, bushwhacker. Oh, but it's a hero bushwhacker. Darn. We are going for full salvage on this one. It's uh, 313, I think it was. Um, and we have three bushwhacker parts. What in the hell is that? Wow. Okay, he's got to die. <laughs> That's a lot of lasers. That, there's no other way to put it. That is a lot of lasers. Um, if I wanted to shoot the Cicada, I'd have a 40% chance of doing it. Um, how about if, if I moved Ek first? Can I give Ek a shot anywhere? Ek can have a shot from here. 76, I'm going to take it because we've already put some damage down on him. Um, wow, that, that, that gauntlet is crazy. Nailed him with two PPC shots so far, so he is not going to be as accurate as he probably wants to be. And not moving. We got an enforcer moving up, opening fire with his Gauss rifle and a narc beacon. Ow. Um. Okay, good. That's just the machine gun. Yeah, you are getting your ass kicked. Ek, um. Ek, maybe the life of a mercenary is not for you. Just a thought. I don't want to. I don't want to pressure you too much on this. But it's been rough. 54% chance there. If I push up here, I will have a 54% chance. So we're going to keep nailing that cicada as much as we can. Put on as much pain as possible. And oh, I love the fact that we upgraded this guy with stealth armor. Aye, aye. Laser. Nailed him with a large laser. Good job, Punisher. Demonstrating to Ek how it's done. Although Ek did nail him with a PPC. So maybe Ek just doesn't like the, uh, doesn't like the lasers. Maybe he's a PPC kind of guy. We'll have to keep that in mind. A couple of shots over the rapier. I don't think they managed to connect at all. And we've got the cicada on the move. The cicada is rolling. How fast? Not very quick. Firing a couple of lasers into the Vindicator. We are going to bring that Vindicator into cover. And we're just probably going to start trying to duke it out. Although, Gauntlet didn't doesn't have the range. Okay, that works for me. I'm tempted to reserve down here. 
I'm also tempted to dive on him like right now. Uh, if I wanted to blitz into range here, what can I do? Still got an unknown contact over there. I'm not super happy about that. Oh, I can have a shot. Just way long shot. We would be able to tag him without too much trouble. He's not moving all that quickly. Ooh. Merengian, you still have jump jets. You don't have enough jump jets. Uh, he used to. He used to have six jump jets on him. We took them off because we decided there were cooler things to place on mechs. How about if I just sprinted? What kind of... Ooh, we are looking at a pretty considerable amount of speed over here. I kind of like it. It's risky, it's aggressive, and that's how we lost the javelin last time. Let's be... let's not be dumb here. Let's think through our options. So this right torso is open. What kind of engine are we dealing with? Oh, that's an XL engine. Ooh. Ooh, boy. So XL engines, of course, take up three uh, torso slots in either of the side torsos, in addition to their torso slots in the CT, which means uh, three critical hits to an engine blow it up. So if you blow off a side torso, that's the whole mech. It's a very cool way of getting a lot of firepower in a single mech very easily. Uh, the problem is, of course, that you're extremely vulnerable at that point. I like this position here. I really do. But he's going to be vulnerable as all heck. I can't go that slowly. I have to be moving faster than two. Two and a half is the absolute bare minimum we can afford here. And even that's going to be stupid aggressive. What are you packing? Medium pulse he's going to hit with that. And the ER large laser also deadly. Gauss rifle is also very powerful so this enforcer very dangerous to us this is just a nightmare and in fact this is probably yeah we are super evasive right now with our lights we're gonna reserve into him we're gonna let him make a couple of moves here and now that you've done that i don't feel so bad about pulling away unless you come full circle firing with one laser not the pulse laser though did manage to hit me that's not cool hit me in cover while i had that many pips of evasion that's kind of scary uh, but that's actually the scariest one. Aside from the Enforcer, I'm gonna... Ooh, no. No, we don't. We move our Vindicator. Our Vindicator yep. is not particularly evasive at the moment. He needs to get on the move. And where is that gonna be? Put him right here. 30% chance with the PPC is not all that cool. I would like to have a higher evasion on this one. Oh, what are we looking at here? 43? Not tremendous. 43, not tremendous. Um, pull back, lose some? Or do we go full sprint? I think we go full sprint, and the reason why is because that Gauss rifle is not going to care about damage reduction. So we pull up here into the forest, maybe? Yeah, give him a round of recoil. So he'll be in position to be more aggressive next turn. Get him a little bit of evasion going on there, up to three. And, yeah, that'll work out a little bit better, I think. He needs a turn to recoil anyway, so his PPC will be accurate again next turn. And okay, missed with all the things. Good. So at this point, I think I want to just reserve down. Or maybe not, because we don't know what this is, but I don't think he's going to be able to swing around in time. Oh, we can... Oh, we can nail that Enforcer. Oh, do we want to... Do we want to risk it? The reason why we can nail this Enforcer is he's right on the line. Just one more little poke... And he's no longer evasive. Um, got it's got to be back. Punisher. It's got to be a mech that can take some damage. Uh, 47, I think we'll roll with. Pull him on forward. Lock up the Enforcer. All weapons are go. Okay, we... Wow, we hit him in the head. Come on, Critical, straight to the cockpit. No, not quite. But that should make him unsteady. It didn't, apparently. We've got a Porcupine, so another Cicada over here. It's a pirate version. And he's launched his rocket launchers. Nailing the Vindicator on the side. The Vindicator is not having a good day. That left arm of his is pretty badly damaged. So that Vindicator is almost missing his head. Also, he should not be... Oh, no, he isn't evasive anymore. We did push him over the line. So I think we jump on him. Uh, we're going to punish that. Waiting for orders. He was super aggressive with it, and we're going to... We're going to haul butt, get on top of him, and nail him. And in fact, I'm going to make the called I'm shot. 90-something percent chance. Offensive push. We've got the machine gun array. Make it happen. Come on. Managed to nail. Oh, we got another head hit. Okay, one more head hit, and that, that mech's out. And the other cicada pulling way off, so they're shifting hard. 
Synapse, I need you to come in with the follow-up ending blow. Can you make it happen? You can, but not really. 88s, 92s. Pushing into here, 88s and 92s. So I'd like... Whichever will get me furthest, then. This one. So we will sprint on here at full speed. Going through the rough terrain, a little bit vulnerable to that. Ah, crap. I didn't realize we didn't have an offensive push available. Nail him. Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, was that a hit? Yeah, piloting capacity. Cockpit crit. We knocked it out. Our, that's fully intact. Holy crap. So that's going to be a lot of enforcer parts in the queue. Uh, we might go for that. All right, Synapse and Varangian, get ready for your next trick here. You're up at three. I could push in behind this bushwhacker, but there's no follow-up for it. That's the problem. So I don't think we do that. I think we... I think we play games with this guy. So range there, eh, not terrible. If I got close... My main concern with getting close, of course, is the problem with... Well, if he walks up to punch me or he gets around to behind me... And a porcupine, we know, well, just a cicada in general, he will get behind, he will start being able to punch you without too much trouble. So even though this is not ideal for weapons range, we could have gotten up into the 70s with some accuracy there. I'm still going to push here. And that way, fire. hopefully, if he does try and come around behind me, we're drawing him into a whole bunch of firepower. So we've managed to nail him with the tag. That's excellent. And the javelin can just keep on being aggressive. Can I get up here? No, not yet. The javelin's going to keep being aggressive too. Keep him hit. Uh, we need to keep our mechs at a high speed. Make sure that we take greatest advantage of our uh, electronic countermeasures. And all of our stealth armor, which has just been proving to be very useful. I hope, anyway. So line this guy up. Just fire away. Oh, just love it, Varangian. You're nailing everything with that snub. We got our crazy Viking, man. And Gauntlet is probably in position to shoot somebody. He hit once. Twice. Upper arm destroyed. Uh, that's not great. And nothing's holding that arm on. But there's nothing on that arm. So if there was an arm to lose, that was it. Talk to me. Alright, I'm talking to you. Uh, I want you to... You spent the round... Oh no, X spent the round recovering his recoil. I'd like to get aggressive on you, and ooh, that, that would let me be aggressive with you. Unfortunately, that's too close for the PPC. And the PPC is where we make our damage, because we don't have a hole yet. We will hopefully soon, but not as of yet. Can I sprint somewhere into cover? Because cover is what I want. I want some level of protection from a mech. Uh, 56, yeah, we'll take that. Yeah, it's a reduction of about 10, 15%, but again... We need to be able to to shoot from a protected position. And he nails him. Wow, okay, so Ek, Ek did not want to be a Phoenix Hawk pilot. Ek wanted to be your very own favorite Vindicator pilot. So let's try and make sure that Ek survives this mission so that he can become a Vindicator pilot because he's just nailing targets with that PPC. All right, so we're going to keep the pressure on. What do we got open? Nothing open yet. That is a bit of a problem. Although he's down to a single point of evasion, we may be able to sprint right on top of him. And yes, we can. With good hit chances, too. Uh, I'm not going to shoot at that uh, at gauntlet. The gauntlet is probably going to be really hard to take down. But we can just start putting some firepower down. Oh, you missed with a large laser. That's not good. We kind of needed that to be plinking away and nailing every turn. And we got the other cicada rolling on forward. This cicada packing uh, medium pirate lasers and a couple SRM-2s. Uh, dude, he's hitting more than I'd like. We're going to have to ha give Ek a turn where he can mostly stand still, honestly. Uh, we keep the pressure up on the porcupine, though. Commander? All right, Varangian, I need to have a good position for you. And I am not quite sure ooh, what it could be, because uh, that's just going to make you so vulnerable to everybody if they want you they got to come around the corner for you so that that'll hopefully guard them a little bit maybe they won't be too aggressive with that oh my crazy viking missed on an 87 but that's a head hit head hits mean we can start being aggressive on going for heads because he's not evasive at all he's just incredibly vulnerable right now 
two and a half right there. Oh, unfortunately, we don't have the turn. Oh, no. Although, t to be fair, we really... <laughs> we really kind of can't fire everything this turn. Uh, I'm looking at a lot of good accuracy, though. Go right here. Another offensive push on the porcupine. I want to shove him back a bit. Let's focus on his... Uh, no, not the right throw, so I want the head. I want that headshot. Uh, medium laser going to shut you off? Yeah. Medium lasers are off, but again, we're just going for a pilot injury. So give me one good headshot. And I don't think we got it. Oh, no, we did. So he's down to one more injury, and that pilot's dead. And they're coming up for the punch. Oh, we knew it was going to happen. These cicada... Oh, no, this is Gauntlet. Gauntlet's making a swing. Oh, it's not very good evasion. But Gauntlet not able to quite get it down. And that'll give him... Oh, Gauntlet also very vulnerable. Look at how low that threshold is. We might be able to be somewhat aggressive with him. Okay, Punisher. Uh, I don't have enough to really make this work as much as I'd love to. But I might be able to force it jump. Jump around into here. I like that. That that traps them between me. It forces them to have to start making some really ugly choices. I'm going to shut off the small laser. Roger that. All right, there we go. Hitting with the large laser, but not hitting with the other important things. And the reason why I did that is I wanted to see if I can build up an attack with Ek. Okay, don't don't hit me. Stop stop hitting me. I need to walk this Ek, turn, which is not great. My armor. All right, so Ek. What I want to do with Ek, I was hoping I would get enough for the called shot, but that's not going to happen. All right, so we're going to get up into you. 88% chance with the narc, but that's not... Uh, 69s with the machine guns. If we get not obstructed, it's much, much higher. And I'm going to push for it. So the goal is get a headshot. And the best way to get a headshot is to fire everything you've got. Uh, the PPC is off for recoil management, also for heat management there. Come on, just give me a head hit. Unsteady. He's vulnerable to being knocked over. Unfortunately, he's not going to move. He can't move fast because he's unsteady. Although he is a cicada, so cicadas can move very fast. Opening fire with his pods. Uh, the pods, the A-pods, M-pods, and all that. Ooh, left arm is gone. Luckily, again, nothing on that left arm. Uh, the pods are meant for anti-personnel, anti-battle armor. Basically, if battle armor try and infantry try and swarm around your mech, you activate one of your pods and it blows up in their face. It's quite nice. All right. Uh... Varangian, my crazy Viking. I don't have enough for you to do it yet, so I'm not going to risk you. I'm instead going to take Synapse, and Synapse is going to be aggressive and fast and crazy. And that should do it. Sprint around to the back over here. And if I can cause enough damage, maybe I can get some... Okay, so we're going over the line on this one. If I can cause enough damage, maybe I can get a uh, bonus to this and we will get us called shot because if that happens okay he's good if that happens then maybe I can do a called shot go for the head and take him out but oh we got enough okay so we do have enough for it we just need to make sure that we are aggressively quick and then in their face 77 is not as good as I'd like do I dare 77 is all I'm going to get huh he's a little bit more evasive than I want him to um, other than missing the arm, his armor is good. So I'm going to run for it. So sprint on over here. Make the called shot on the porcupine. Go for that open head. All I need is one of these bullets to hit it. Just the one, and we've got him. Also, you know, 28%. Oh, we got him! <laughs> and we took out his leg. So either way, we either hit him in the head or we knocked him down, which would have killed the pilot. So that's two mechs down by killing the pilot. I'm I'm liking this. Oh, so much damage. Oh, God. That shouldn't be the javelin dead, but that's the engine. Oh god. The engine's blown out, the, just everything. <sighs> that's painful. There are, there are many levels of the pain that I'm not feeling. If I just ran up and...
clocked him in the back. Would that be any good? Point blank range, not good hits. Also, he's evasive as all heck, which is not fun. But I do want to dogpile him. Oh no, we need to chill. Yeah, we got to chill out. So we're going to walk up right into his back and I'm going to start punching him. Aye, aye. And if I'm good enough, I might be able to, you know, knock him out. To hell with the weapons. Haha, <laughs> that's what I like to hear. So we managed to nail him with that, shoved him back in an initiative phase. How much stability was that? Uh, almost a bar. As a cannon coming around the back. Putting fire with his... Well, with all of his stuff. Really making that hurt. Reporting major armor loss. Ek. Ek is also wants to do the exact same thing, honestly. But Ek cannot afford to stand still. Ek must move. Uh, am I too close for PPCs? 69. And cover in a corner. How about if I... Sp oh, can I jump high? If I jumped up to here, what am I looking at? 17s. No, that ain't good. If I sprint back, because I need some distance. Distance is what we need. 56. No, nope, nope, the walk is better. So 56, this will bring us to 69. Covers our back a little bit more. Position confirmed. Alright, not the cicada, but him. Turn on that PPC, it's time to get involved. Fire Blast away! away. Uh, I really kind of needed you to hit with that one. Okay, we're up. Synapse. Orders. Synapse needs to chill. I mean, Synapse is about to have a really, really bad day, honestly. So. Sprint. Over here, it's gonna cook us. Oh, I can't afford that. Walk. Get some distance, get some cover. And we're gonna shut off everything except the tag. That brings us just be just beneath and tag him. Always a chance you could hit the head, which would be funny. All right, enemy turn. This is Cicada. Let's see where he's going. Uh, going a little bit far out, attacking the Phoenix Hawk. Not being super accurate, but nailing him with the pair of missiles. That is, of course, a problem. Just barely dinged my armor. Orders. All right, Punisher. Uh, actually, no, Ek. Commander. If you stood right here, twenty-two. If you continued to walk backwards. Even better. Um, you're going to keep up here? What is up here? Oh, I'm just seeing seeing through terrain. I should not be able to see through. If I walk all the way back here, we're looking at 69s. Gives us higher. Yeah, we're going to roll for it. And keep pounding them. There we go. That's what we needed. Oh, we got, we got holes in that back armor. Fusion core crit number one. He's unsteady. Punisher, it's time for you to make this happen. I need you to bore him out. Roger that. So, if I go for a called shot, we're looking at 82 on the worst one. I want a called shot the CT. Because if I can nail that, then... Then I can deal enough damage. I think. Yeah, if I nail every single one. Or do I just shoot? I mean, nailing anywhere on the... Now, go for it. Oh, God. Another fusion core crit. He's down to a single crit left, and then he's dead. Unfortunately, he's going to get a round of shooting, and we saw just how devastating that round of shooting is. Also, this is only going to get us one part, and I want to. Lots of 35s. Fusion core critted us quite heavily. Heat critical, shut down override successful. I'm ready. Synapse, I need you to I need you to delay him, honestly. So what I need is I need high speed, I need low drag, I need sprint, full speed. That'll get you way up here. It's gonna make you vulnerable, but you should be okay. Go for it, Synapse. Oh, that's not actually going up the mountain. Oh god, um, no, he's gonna get a chance to operate. Uh, we're cooking it again. Come on. Something important. Homing beacon, heat critical, override successful, okay. Now, please move the cicada first. No, he's being smart, he's moving the gauntlet. He recognizes his problem. 
Maybe not. Maybe he wants that kill. Oh, it's going to knock over the pilot. So we... So Punisher's about to take a fall. Better me than Lady Arana. But this is going to cook him pretty bad. Injury ignored, thanks to the helmet. Wait, you, you ignored the shutdown? How? Yes, Commander. Uh, yeah, I can turn his back. Okay. I'm just absolutely astonished that he didn't shut down from that. Oh, I can't do that, can I? As much as I want to get behind him and just nail him with all my firepower, I just don't have the shot. It's going to be painful, but... Honestly, it's going to have to be up to Synapse to come over here and try and nail him. Alright, so jumping is not in the cards. Walking, of course, must be in the cards. 43%. Further backing up. 50%. Yeah, that's, that's the play. And turn off. Nothing. We gun it. So Sensor's impaired. He's having a bad day. He critical. I'm Avoided the shutdown. And the skate is on the move. Ooh, offensive push. Really? Or was it just a normal cult shot? In any event, it is all up to Sina. Oh, no, Punisher gets to stand up. Okay. Stand up, my friend. Get on your feet. You have. Oh, God. This could be painful. This could be devastating. Or this could be beautiful. That's showing a shot to him from that angle. Do it. Roger. All right, Punisher. I need you to summon all of your will and skill. He's got 47 health in that rear torso. <sighs> or you could not hit the center rear at all. That was a critical hit, lad. Great, but... You're going to die. I'm going to have to cook this. and I'm going to have to cook it hard. This is going to be an overheat. Medium lasers off. Okay, I can prevent the auto overheat, but... Got him. Unfortunately, the rapier is now incredibly exposed. One less target. Heat is cooking my he didn't blow up. Doctor. Okay, that's that works for me. Okay, so he's got 14 health on his back armor. The rapier is fine-ish. As long as we just pr protect that armor. Really, we've got to get the Phoenix Hawk out of here. Hopefully this mission, we can make it worth it by orders. getting a bushwhacker. That would make it worth it. That would make everything worth it. Uh, line him up. Terrible, terrible chances. Okay, we take this as a buy round. I think. Yes, we do. So, shut off that. Um, offensive push. Shove him back around. Go for the head. Always go for the head. Um, machine guns off as well? No, we may as well fire the machine guns. Fire everything. Just not the PPC. Oh, we blew up his left arm. That's good. Took out one of his lasers. That'll be helpful. Um, Punisher will follow up. And the reason why I did this is because now we've got a free turn. I could have walked up to punch with Punisher, but eh, maybe I should actually do that. I mean, it kind of sucks because we just wasted the called shot, but... 54% chance, and he's going to be kind of... Oh, I don't think I can risk it. I think at the end of the day, we can't get anywhere near him. Engaging jump jets. So we're going to try and guard our back by going high. And we can't heat up this much, so we shut off all the other lasers, and all the other lasers say no. Um. I want to shoot something at him. Small laser, fire from the hip. Roger that. He missed. But that's okay. We weren't expecting miracles. That's a clean miss. But now we get, everybody gets to go. Ready for orders. How much armor you got left? Uh, you've got, you're an XL, aren't you? Yeah, we checked that out before. So this torso needs to die, so left is right. So, left is left actually in this case. Get right on top of him and cook. Because we didn't cook last term. Move order received. 
Or did we? No, we prevented it from happening at all. Shoot, I may have... We shove it to a shutdown. That should avoid the ammo explosion, I think. So, throw it to the safeties. Because if we might... We might kill him this turn. Nope! Okay. Okay. It'll all be worth it if we get a bushwhacker. It'll all be worth it if we get a bushwhacker. All I need is that fusion core to explode. That's all I need. Lexi, this is heavy damage. You've got my attention. Um, do you want to shoot down from above? He's still evasive. Holy crap! Cook it. And he's lost his evasion, but now he gets the move. Let's see what he does. Can't believe it blew out that rapier. Oh yeah, he gets to move. Uh, he can't move very far, unfortunately. <laughs> Let's pull back here. Affirmative. And no shut down. Good, good, good. Stay, stay active, stay alive. Porcupine. Trying to get things done. He I mean, could get things done. Uh, I think we're gonna have to walk up a machine gun. Uh, you're gonna step up here, you're gonna look down on his back, and you're gonna blast Copy him. That. Them's the orders. Ours laser off, does not save. Jeez, what can I shoot on this gosh darn bucket? A single medium laser. Alright, shoot him. Fault, you know. Hey, you hit him. And now, Ek. Ooh, no, this kid is moving. And fire him back quite heavily. Oh boy, this is going to be an expensive mission. I'm not happy about this at all. I'm losing armor. If, even if we pick up... Waiting for orders. If we lose the rapier, that's... Then we're done. Because the rapier has been keeping us in this war so much. We really can't afford to lose it. Easy off. Roger that. Come on. Head hit injury ignore. That's fascinating. He gets to move. Keep blasting on my back. Oh, he's penetrated. Heat sink destroyed. We can replace heat sinks. Heat sinks are fine. Is coming apart around me. I noticed. I am noticing. It's just. I mean, what do you want us to do? He's got. He's got more help than I know what to do with. Got it, Commander. Alpha strike him. Oh, you hit him. That was good. I just need one more crit on this guy's engine. Why is this not happening? You've got my attention. Turn on everything. We're cooking it. Cook the mech. Roger. Oh, we cut through the back. Come on. One fusion core. That should be it. That should be three crits. Okay, so he's lost his gyro. He's super unsteady. He just gets around to the back again. And he's punching through the leg. How much is left on this gosh darn mech? 30 health there, 38 health there. Shutdown override successful. Talk to me. Um. Cook. Come on, guys, just just one. That's a knockdown, but he gets to ignore the... He'll ignore the injury. Uh, oh, no, he didn't. So he's down to three or four. So back up so that we can't see what's going on, and then you'll cook. Oh, he's still over at the shutdown. Punisher, man, he's where it's at, yo. I'm receiving you. Okay, you're going to stand over the corpse, and you're going to blast absolutely everything you've got into him. Line him up. What's the open... It's this one. Firing a full salvo. Got him. Jeez. Okay, so depending on how this comes out, we either are going to make out pretty decent or absolutely terribly. 
So I'm very worried, actually. Um, I need those mechs. I can't afford not to have them. So unless I'm replacing it with bushwhackers, we're about to go into a very, very difficult period of the campaign. I'm, ver I'm very worried. Alright, two mechs down. This was just an amazing delete. Like, that was terrifying. Synapse is uninjured, so he got out of that one no problem at all. Uh, I've got three salvage slots. I'm taking them for the... For the gauntlet. Oh, so we got three parts of the gauntlet. We got five points of the gauntlet? Huh, we did. Holy crap. One, two, three. Nope. We got a Gauss rifle. That's interesting. And an M pod. Alright, game. Yang, please, come on. You have failed to return several mechs to me. Please, just... Please give me the mechs back. I really need them. I really, really need them, Yang. So if you could piece back together the splattered guts of all these mechs. I need them in one piece. Or if not one piece, at least something I can rebuild because I can sell some mech parts to give me some time but you gotta give me the mechs that mech hey we got the bushwhacker ha <laughs> ha the bushwhacker was originally a failed battle mech designed to have a smaller forward profile to make the mech a harder target to hit the bushwhacker's unique design caused many problems for the engine shielding the side effects of which manifested themselves as various gremlins in the mech's onboard electronics on the field on the prototypes fielded. And the fun fact was that after the Inner Sphere had captured Mad Dogs, uh, they figured out how to properly arrange a mech in this style, and or, and so that's why the Bushwhacker exists. It is basically a Mad Dog saved Inner Sphere shark. Oh, that's that's a lot of damage. We're going into debt. If you're going to do this 60,000 times, we're going to have a problem. Wait a second. They're all here. Yang, I love you. You are an amazing human being. Thank you. Oh, God. The NSS destroyed. The NSS still... We're going to have to sell a couple of mechs. Like the fleet. We're selling the fleet. Uh, hands down, selling the fleet. So, scrap this mech for sea bills. That gets us out of debt. We got a bushwhacker. <laughs> we have a bushwhacker. I'm in very much debt. Storage, hi. Um, okay. We're going to sell the gauntlet. We're not getting it back. Um, we're. Ooh, wow, that, that alone almost got me there. I want to also sell an Enforcer, but I'm not sure about that. Uh, a Locust? Commando. Absolutely sell the Commando. Gives us 40,000. Uh, I think we do sell Locust. Sell a Flea. Flea 15, no thank you. Scrap that. We're out of debt. We're in survival mode now. Unfortunately, I'm still scared. Oh no, that's Ex Mortis. We, we keep Ex Mortis, just in case. Yeah, we only have one part, but... Dear God, Ex Mortis is hilarious. Um, sell the locust parts? Sell the fire starter parts? You're a goblin. I'm never going to run into another goblin. 86,000 for that. Keeping the heiress. This was the first heavy mech we ever came across in the campaign, and hopefully we'll be able to do something with it. Um, dagger is good, but how much can I sell dagger for? Only 55. That, that kind of sucks. As much as I'd love to get an urban mech, we're not getting an urban mech. Uh, we have we have reached the point in the campaign where that's just not going to happen. Sell a couple of spider parts. That's good. I love it. Sell more spider parts. Um, Jenner X, a normal fire starter, the Arinia. Definitely keeping the Arinia parts. That's just an amazing mech. A Jenner A plus the Jenner X. Oh no, the Jenner X is special, so it doesn't. So we'll sell the Jenner A part. Um. Cicada? It's a porcupine. If I sold you, how many have I made? 93,000 for that. We're going to save you probably for a little bit of a nest egg. Okay, we're alive. We're alive and we're in the black for almost two. 
Um, which will need to be because... Oh god, manage tasks. Let's see what we got here. The rapier is down for 13 days. The javelin is down for 9. The phoenix... So... I'm surprised the mech survived as well as they did. <laughs> Let's be honest. That should not have gone as well as it did. Alright, so Yang did manage to save us quite a bit here. Okay, got my... Most of my mech piles are out. Of course, Varangian and Starburst still need a little bit of help. But that's going to give me... Uh, check the mech corners. I think a couple of my pilots should have some cool stuff now. Uh, Coach has not been there. Coach has been playing video games. Eck. Eck, eck, eck. No. No, there's nothing for you. Not yet. You're a PPC specialist. We'll give you that much. That was cool. How can I help? Uh, Punisher, you can get a level of gunnery. Uh, what would tactics give you? Yeah, you can get a level of gunnery. We need that. Okay, so Punisher is uh, proving that he is one heck of a capable pilot. Synapse is also a level of gunnery. Heck yeah, or... Max Evasion. Ooh, no, no, Synapse gunnery, I think. Gunnery. Definitely gunnery. Although we have just lost a lot of our evasion. So that's going to be painful. Five days until the report... Two, one. Hey, Happy New Year. We're alive. Our company exists. Isn't that awesome? We lived. Alright, so, um... What mechs are, what mechs are currently no longer in the bay? Oh, it has its 275! Yes! Uh, but the Vindicator actually is getting repaired first. We're gonna have to find something to build that bushwhacker with, because it appears it's mostly intact. By the way, if you want to see more battles, we're not doing any more battles. Uh, this is purely going to be management and build theory for the next little while. So uh, if you are not interested in that, that's fine. I will see you in the next episode. Uh, but if you are, we're going to be messing around with this for just a little bit. So I'm okay with our Vindicator. I might pull some things off of it. I'm not sure. If I dropped Endo Steel, I could dump the machine guns. But their ammo, and I need half a ton more. But in any event, that's a real quick fix job right there. You know Alright, if I fine. wanted to fix this bushwhacker, what am I looking at? Like, what is the horrible terror that I'm looking at? Okay, so I get an XL engine, a fusion core, a gyro normal, endo steel, and a medium pulse. And I am losing all of that. AC 10 plus plus and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so, is it worth keeping the LRM on? Let's see what we got to work with. So the bushwhacker we're dealing with has... Oh, it's a double heatsink core. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, anyway. So uh, we need to throw on equipment here. And we need to come up with something interesting. I want to give you some kind of special stuff. I want to keep the 275 in there, I think. What kind of movement are we looking at? Um, tabletop walk so it's a 5.8 that's good I like 5.8's 5.8 is kind of where I like to stay so good maneuverability I don't think it needs jump jets it, ha it can have 5 but it's 4 ener or four ballistic 7 energy 6 missile and 2 support so what do we build with that equipment I can't do anything else so I'm going to toss in a targeting computer give him plus 1 accuracy across the board I really kind of want to go with a warfare suite but I'm not sure if I'm not going to need it on another mech but we're going to keep that in mind. Uh, heat sinks, I don't need them. I mean, this thing's at 60 heat. 60. How cool is that? Uh, weapons, ballistics, what do I got? I do have an AC-20. Oh, I also have a Gauss rifle. And an LB-10. Or an LB. Oh, I got some... I have some kit I can put on here. I can put on a Gauss rifle. I should have the ammo for it, too, because... Yes, indeed. Uh, put that in the head. Put put it in the head because it doesn't explode. Um. Okay, okay. So gas there, and gas there. We're not gonna have a machine gun on here, I don't think. So dump the machine gun ammo. So we got a gas rifle. That's that alone is pretty cool. Uh, I don't need three tons of ammo. Two tons that'll be good. Uh, dump the dump the LRM. Let's see. So we got a Gauss Rifle as our centerpiece. 
I think. I, I like it. I mean, it's 70 damage. That's a lot of damage. I mean, as opposed to... I think, what's the maximum damage? I could get an Ultra AC5. It, that double taps, but it spreads damage out. I want this Gauss Rifle to nail somebody. I want it to put their back to a wall. We have a medium pulse laser on here already. Is there anything better that I could put on here? I could turn it into sort of like a longer range kind of deal. Hmm. I'm really tempted to put that LBX in it. Just because one of the, the stock bushwhacker that you get at the beginning of Mech Warrior 3 has an LB5, I believe. And so I've always been partial to LB cannons because of that. Uh, we could go a plasma cannon. That that would actually... That would share ammo. If I did something like that. But now we're dealing with me... Oh, no, we're not. We're not dealing with bad heat problems. Still, still heat neutral. Uh, we would have to throw on the third ton of a gauss ammo. And... Equipment. I want a weapon mount. Alright, it fits. Good. Good, good, good. Very pleased with what I see. Uh, restricted actuators, left, lower, right, lower. Okay. So, but the weapon mount is fine. So that'll give us minus one ton and some... Re Ooh, no, we can't fit that. We are 0.9 tons overweight. Plasma cannon's not gonna fit. Plasma cannon has the problem of trying to do multiple ballistics on a medium. We just don't have the weight for it. We do have the room for the Warfare Suite, though. So that gives us plus evasion and also plus accuracy. So it's a very, very efficient piece of kit that could help us out a lot. I'm not sold on this medium pulse laser, though. Medium pulse lasers are kind of short-ranged. I could go Heavy Pharaoh. Uh, leaves me one, two, three, four, five. Five slots left for six tons. I can do that. I mean, I can fit stuff in that. Uh, we'll mock it up right now with a heavy ferro. If I can't fit it, then I can't fit it. And I think I need to drop a ton. Yes. So if we were to do that, I don't want jump jets, I don't think. I don't see a reason for it. We don't have any more engine upgrades. And the patchwork materials I kind of want to save so I can sell. Weapons. I want... Honestly, I'd like to toss on a couple of SRMs. I've only got the one, though. Could throw on a Thunderbolt, but that's pretty heavy, isn't it? Yeah, six tons. I could fit it and one ton of ammo. Be kind of useless. Kind of want to do more energy. Energy plus the big cannon. I like energy. It's something I'm a fan of. How many beam lasers I got? I got three. Plus ten, plus two heat. So I deal twelve heat. And if I put them in a cluster over here. So that's plus two heat and plus ten damage, but no and plus accuracy for being in the arm. I could uh, could I? Plus three accuracy with the arm mounted weapons. Oh, that's that's really good actually. If I were to do that, I'd have to do this. Two on over here. Because plus three accuracy plus one accuracy we're looking at plus four accuracy overall i mean that's that's not bad um support systems fluid gun acid eh, not really sold on it like fluid guns are interesting and he can't he can't chainsaw off because he does not have the lower accurate lower actuators for it um is he ever going to be that close? That's the question. Because I don't think so. The Gauss Rifle, I want to keep him at range. I want to keep him plinking away. Really, actually, it might be a good idea to go a large laser there or even a PPC. I've almost got... I do have the room for it. Huh. Large laser would be 45. But these are 35 and their heat is way, way better. Both of them will cause 70 damage and be easier on the heat. What is my heat, by the way? I'm good. I've got a medium pulse and three additional lasers on here. And I'm tempted to shove this medium pulse over into the other arm. Just to make it... Uh, or maybe pull it off. Do I got a better laser? I got a flamer. 
Limer's not what we're looking for. And just double check. An LB10. The LB10 would be 14 times what? Because it's a multiple shot weapon. Or maybe not. It's just 14 damage, really? That can't be right. Weapons damage can vary between plus or minus 4. This weapon has a recoil of 3. The damage falls off 40%. That can't be right. F only 14 damage? And no multi-shot? That's got to be a bug. I'll probably mention something about it on the forums. We do have an AC-20. I mean, we could throw that in there. It's 14 tons versus how many Gauss Rifle? It's, it's lighter than the Gauss Rifle. <laughs> oh, but this Gauss Rifle now, now has a plus 5 accuracy. I, I want to keep that. I can go 4 tons for a Light Rifle. Light Rifle would just give us additional ammo for very little additional heat. Uh, machine gun array. We've got a light machine gun array and a normal machine gun array. 610 and 410. Heat 18 though. That's that's kind of kind of hot. We've got four tons to play with in two slots. Or we could mess around with other things. Also, oh, that's going to be expensive. We're going to have to sell a mech part for that. I do like the heavy pharaoh more. I really do. If I did this, what am I looking at? 0.75 tons remaining. Huh. Tournament is just a big, beefy tank. What am I missing? Uh, oh, yeah, he's complaining about the engines. We will reduce back armor a bit. To get myself up. That's what I was hoping to get up to. Actually, I'm going to do this. There we go. So we got one ton remaining on two slots. We could throw in another energy weapon. That would push us over the heat threshold, unfortunately. If we had rockets, I'd throw... We do have rockets. Huh. I got two slots. I got an RL-10. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. I think that's the build, actually. So we've got a Gauss Rifle as our main weapon, and we've got four lasers as a backup. Now, one of them is a medium pulse laser, and honestly, I'm kind of tempted to remove it, because I'm not sold on a medium pulse laser. But all the medium lasers are plus tens, so they're dealing a lot of damage for not a ton of heat. That is a good, I think that's a good mix. I really do. Uh, we're going to move the pulse laser over the arm, though. And the reason why I want to do that is give it more accuracy. Accuracy, accuracy, accuracy. That's that's a big key thing here. So I think this might be the build. Gauss rifle on the right arm, backed up by four medium lasers, one of which is a pulse laser, and a pair of rocket launcher 10s for that quick up front, we've got a good shot, make it count. And once we once we fire them, then they're they're not a problem as far as heat is. Now, it is a minus two accuracy on this, which is not great. Can I put... Ooh, I can put him on an arm. So he's got a lot of his weapons on the arms. Maybe I should put that medium laser on the nose. The reason why I want to put it on the arm is because it's a minus two weapon, but putting it on an arm is plus one. And then put the targeting computer's another plus one, so we'll be firing at base accuracy. Or I could, I could just start stripping armor off in order to fit it in other places. Two tons for an EMP LRM5. Dump a medium pulse laser, but I'm slot limited at that point. We're getting 2.88 tons from the, from the Pharaoh, so it is helpful. It is being used. I just uh, even out my even out the numbers I think that's the build I think so could be a pod pods one ton to, it's an M pod so six by ten that's a rocket launcher isn't it ten by four eh close enough but it's point blank range I mean it's it's you shoot once you're done 
think that's the build. I really do. I keep saying that because I'm concerned about going back and forth on it. But this gives us a rocket punch, three medium lasers, and a medium pulse, and a gauss rifle for the heavy shot. One, two, three, four. Well, we're, we've only got two more energy slots, right? No, we've got three more energy slots. Huh. We're right up there on heat right now. We're a little bit over heat, right? Yeah, 69, but 10 of that is coming from the rocket launchers. So we're actually, we're, a, this is a pretty chill mech. I think we make this work. other things I want to do with it but like I'd like to go null sig oh yeah the warfare sweep hmm so these rocket launchers are actually plus 10 so one two three wait no one two three six oh this guy's gonna be just he's gonna be nailing it So once we dump the rocket launchers, we have nothing to fear from heat. Not that we need to worry about heat. We've, we've got a great core for it. My biggest problem, though, is this engine. So we stay at range. I mean, we, that's that's the play. We stay at range. It's locking our bushwhacker. <laughs> Clicked it once. Okay, that's a bushwhacker build. And once again, we are way down in cash again. And in fact, I'm going to quickly check components. Um, I want equipment, patch, patchwork materials. It says it's 1.3 million. I think that'll be the last thing we'll do today. We're going to check out the store. How much if I wanted to sell a 1.3 million part? Hi, bushwhacker. You're an awesome mech, and I love you dearly. Ever since Mech War 3, it just holds such a special place in my heart. It can't not. I mean, I was in that mech for so long until I finally gave it up. I stuck in that mech way longer than you were probably supposed to. Because I just did not want to get out of it. Wow, that's... Ooh. We sell it, though. We're not going to use it. Absolutely not. Uh, weapons. Hi. Um, I'd like to sell just enough to be on top of this report. So about 70,000 left. Plasma rifle? These plasma rifles are just too short range for us to use. Sell it. It's a hereditary weapon, but no, can't keep. And that LB-10, is that LB-10 just seriously? Is it seriously just 14, 14 damage? Because somebody's got to fix that if that's the case. Because that's, that's cruel. You can't do that to me. Yeah, it is. It's it's one shot. <laughs> Large war extended all kinds of fire to cluster of five project. Oh no, so it does fire five. So fourteen times five is uh fifty plus seventy damage. That's not terrible. The Gauss rifle's better, but that's not terrible. I will keep it. We might find something else to put it on. Uh special weapons. I don't want to sell these arc welders. Like, they're plus 10 heat, times 2 against overheating targets. Uh, chainsaw is 9 times 5 for 45. These are just 15. M pods are cool. I want to keep it. AC20s are cool. I want to keep it at. Equipment. I really think we're, yeah, we're going to sell this reflective coating. I'm not going to put it on a mech. It's just too expensive, too. And we sell the improved jump jet. Because I would not be able to put that improved jump jet on it without my eye twitching every time I used it. Because I'm too much of a fan of symmetry. Alright, manage these tasks. What do we got? Uh, Phoenix Hawk will be ready in one day. The Vindicator will be ready in two days. Um, the Rapier is going to need a lot of tender love and care. One. Two. Okay. Uh, just quick check the mech bays. Phoenix Hawk also took a little bit of damage. The gyro, the engine, but luckily it's all still intact. Oh good, the only thing it lost was a was a heatsink. Equipment, uh, heatsink, slot that in there. 
This mech has been trundling along for us. It keeps going. Um. Oh. Ooh. I could tear this out. I've already committed. Six, oh yeah, for the repairs. I was about to say six days. What are you crazy? But yeah, it has a reason for a six day repair. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Okay, missed tasks. I want that Phoenix Hawk done. Right next to the Joplin. Oh, that Joplin that we just gutted. There's not much more that I can say about that. That Joplin has been just ripped. I would. That'll be the last thing we do. We're gonna. Oh. Uh, we have a request to set up a live shooting range. Daria says in the staff meeting. Show tells us the pressure t pressure safe target pistols aren't sufficiently realistic to keep the mech warrior's skills sharp. That said, I'm not sure if the Argo has an appropriate location for that kind of thing. For what? An indoor shooting range? Dr. Murad tilts her head, her brow furrowing. I believe I could find a spot in Gamopod. It's still a mess over there anyway. Use, use an armored plate as a backstop. Yes, it should be fine if they're careful. Right, shift towards you. The mech warriors are careful, aren't they? No. No, they are not. They are six-year-olds with heavy weapons. Uh. <laughs> You're not a doctor, man. Chateau is ex-military. If he's running this, there shouldn't be any real risk. I'm going to blame it on the concussion. I mean, Starburst is out for 36 days. Clearly, concussion. Uh, as soon as he gets the head, Shotel starts organizing the shooting range. The mech warriors produce a wide variety of small arms, some of which rather stretch the definition. When Darius catches Synapse toting a gyro slug rifle and explosive ammunition through the corridor, he calls Shotel in for a heated dressing down. Afterwards, the shooting range becomes pistols only, and locks appear on all the gyro slug rifle cases. Really, Synapse? My second in command? Wow. Shotel has gained low spirits for the next 30 days. We're probably not going to go on a mission for the next 30 days, unfortunately. We're a little bit stuck because we've got a lot of repair work. Luckily, we have a lot of things to sell. Okay, so the Rapier and the Bushwhacker are now getting the tender eleven care that they require. Uh, last thing we do for today is we're going to check out the Javelin. We're going to see how badly this thing got mauled. Oh, it was bad. It was very bad. Look at that. All that expensive stuff we cannot replace. If you ripped it all off, what would happen? 21. You got 9 tons. So it needs a fusion core. Um, equipment. That's a 145. Down from its 180. 3 tons remaining. Uh, it needs 5 heat sinks. 1, 2, 3, Four, five. It has five heat sinks. I'm putting them in the legs where they are less likely to get blown off. Uh, it has three tons. Okay, so heat efficiency, what are we looking at right here? Heat sinking is 30 of 49. Um, I can get three jump jets into this thing. So it'll be three jump jets right there. Put this one over here because it's going to drive me nuts. One and a half tons. Heat efficiency is 30 of 49. 19 heat every, sing every single time he fires that cannon. I can't do that. I, I need to throw in more heat sinks. And I don't have a lot of heat sinks. Um. I can't put... Oh, I could put it in the CT. How would the heat be here? 39 of... So he builds 10 heat every time he shoots. Um... If we want the mech back, that's what's got to be done. I don't think this mech is viable. Absolutely not. Uh, I'm going to have to do some major rethinking on this one because this mech needed the Stealth X armor and the Warfare Suite and be able to use that snub nose the way that it did. We can't field this. This would... That would be suicide. But uh, we have got ourselves a Bushwhacker. How awesome is that? And the Bushwhacker is going to be ready in 38 days. Um, so we should be able to use it next month sometime. I can't believe we actually got all the mechs out of that one. Yeah, it kind of sucks because it's a lot of repair that we've got to do. But we've got all of our mechs. We sold the fleet, but we've got five mechs, three of which are mediums. And we got the Bushwhacker. You have no idea how, pro how happy I am for this Bushwhacker. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, so that's going to do it for today. I've been Derek. If you like what you've been seeing, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to receive a notification every time I release one of these videos, press that little bell icon. Leave a comment. How, how was that battle? What would you have done better? And I will see you all in the next episode.